Hi guys, my name is Bappi Hamed and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, uh, I'm going to show you one amazing uh, tools that you can use uh, for the software testing. Because nowadays, uh, if you see everyone is talking about uh, how we can use uh, AI agents, large language model to implement different different projects. Right, right, whether it's uh, any kinds of uh, website related projects, whether it's any kinds of uh, AI related projects, so people are talking about that, okay? And uh, we are also using uh, lots of tools for these kinds of development, okay? But nobody is talking about how we can test that, that kinds of software, that kinds of product, okay? So uh, I found one amazing uh, uh, platform and tool. Uh, the tool name is Test Sprite. So this tool uh, provides uh, actually uh, AI agents for the software testing. That means what you can do, uh, you can use this particular tool uh, for uh, testing your software. So it can be any kinds of software. It can be your AI related software. It can be any kinds of website related software. It can be backend API, it can be front end. Okay, anything you can test with this particular platform. Guys, as you can see, I have opened up my cursor ID and here what I'm going to do, I'm going to first of all create a folder. I'm going to name it as docs and inside that I'm going to create a file called PRD. Okay. And let's create as a MD file. So inside uh, that, first of all, I'm going to write my uh, PRD. Okay. That means the project uh, documentations. Then after that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, create this project with the help of uh, this cursor ID because you know that uh, it has uh, the agents and large language model and all. So uh, it can easily create, uh, it, uh, it can easily implement uh, any kinds of project for you, right? Uh, yeah, so for this, let's do it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up the uh, chat interface. So just press Ctrl L uh, from your keyboard. So you'll see this particular window. So here what you can do. You can um, give a prompt like what kinds of PRD you want. So here I'm going to create a simple application guy just to show you how things works. You can even create a very complex application or any kinds of application you can create, whether it's an AI related, website related, okay, you can create anything. So here I'm going to just write, uh, so let's uh, give this prompt. So I believe it will uh, create the entire PRD for me. Okay, then with the help of this PRD, uh, I'm going to, uh, uh, implement the entire applications. So let's wait, guys. Uh, guys, uh, once this is complete, I will come back. So, guys, as you can see, my PRD is ready. Okay. Uh, so it is uh, writing some conclusion, uh, and you can see in this PRD.md file all the uh, structure and all the like documentation, everything is ready. Now, here I'm going to give a prompt. Uh, now, um, create this application. So let's give the prompt. Now, guys, what it will do? It will read the entire PRD, okay, and it will try to uh, implement the entire uh, applications. So again, I'm going to pause the video, guys. Once this implementation is complete, I'll come back. So, guys, as you can see, my application is ready. It has created the backend and as well as the front end folder. Okay, you can see it has implemented the entire application. Now let's try to run this application. For this, it is suggesting me the command. I'll try to run this command. So guys, as you can see, my application is running. And let's open up my local host, okay? It is running on my local host. So I will open up my Google, and here I will search for uh, local host ports, uh, port number 5000. Okay, and here it is throwing me one error. Okay, you can see it is throwing me one error. Now, uh, this is what actually I wanted to let you know, guys, because uh, uh, you can actually create, uh, I mean, different different application with the help of this AI. But whenever it comes uh, like uh, the execution of the application, you will find the issue. And most of the people fail because they don't know how to test this application. Okay. So for these guys, this uh, test sprite comes into picture. So they have created uh, the AI agents for the software testing. So uh, in a very easiest way, you can test any kinds of uh, software, whether it's a 
web application, whether it's a AI application, whether it's a front end, back end, okay, anything you can test. So here uh, uh, we'll try to use uh, the MCP test sprite MCP. Uh, I'm uh, directly going to use this uh, MCP in my cursor ID, and I'll try to uh, fix the issue. Okay, this one I'll try to show you. So for this guys, first of all, you have to get the test sprite API key. So for this, just try to sign up with their account. So for me, I already signed up with my uh, with their account, guys. Uh, this is the account. This is the interface you will be getting. And if you want to get the API key, guys, and you will be uh, getting actually one month free trial. Okay, one month free trial actually. Then you can uh, also upgrade their plan. Okay, if you want. So let's get the API key. So I'll click on API key. So from uh, here, actually, you can get the API key. So to generate a new API key, just try to click here and give the name. Let's say I'll give uh, Cal App Calculator App. Okay, create it and copy the api key and if you want to use it guys so what you can do you can see this option try mcp free so this will uh, take you this window okay and this is the entire architecture guys that's how this mcp works okay so here what i will do i'll just try to uh, click on install now and here you can see this option uh, directly you can add to the cursor okay if you click here so it will open the cursor okay cursor settings and here you will be seeing this particular option okay so here you just need to pass this api key okay so you have to pass this particular api key so let's pass the api key and let's install this particular mcp server okay now you can see guys uh this mcp server got installed and uh you can see this is active okay uh you, you can uh, see this green mark so once you can see this green mark that means it is active now what i will do i'll just try to come here okay uh, i'll just try to come here and here i'll just try to give the command let's say um, can you test this application okay um and fix the bug so if i send this command uh, or what i can do i can take a new window that would be better now with that i'll just try to write using test right okay Yeah, so now it has started a uh, testing, guys. Let's wait. So, guys, as you can see, uh, it has opened this particular window from the test sprite. Now it is asking uh, your test configuration. Now you can select like uh, uh, which one you have to test. So, first of all, I will test the backend. So, authentication, I don't need any kinds of authentication. Uh, so it is running port number 5000 is completely fine and here you have to submit the prd so let's uh, open our prd so it is available uh, in the documentation so this is the prd okay so i'll try to paste it here yeah so now let's click on continue so now if i come to cursor now you can see guys it has uh, started calling the uh mcp okay mcp tool for the uh test sprite and it is trying to fixing um, uh, testing okay testing the entire application and it will also generate uh, the summary okay uh, each and everything it, it will be getting inside this particular folder called test sprite test and prd file okay so here you, it will uh, actually store all of the summary so let's wait guys uh, uh i'll come back once this uh, execution is complete so as you can see guys uh, testing is going on so it will uh, perform uh, actually some layer of testing then it will try to figure out the bugs even you can also see their uh, dashboard guys so if you come here mcp test yeah so you can see guys testing is going on okay so like how many tests uh, you have and how many is completed everything you will be able to see okay here okay it's and everything see, see currently it is running so let's wait for the testing guys yeah so everything is done now you can see application is again running so it has fixed all of the code now if i go to my local host and refresh the page now see guys my application is working fine okay so right now uh, if i let's say test this uh, application it should work so let's say i will do this operation 7 multiply by 9 and if i perform equal to now see it is giving uh, 63 okay and even uh, you can see also uh, the history okay now let's try another one so I'll, what i'll do i'll just try to clear 33 uh let's say plus 22 so this is another one and this is another history even you can also 
uh, into the um, this uh, uh, dark mode even you can also get back to the white mode okay uh, even you can also delete the history so this is amazing guys so we have implemented a calculator application with the help of ai and uh, previously it was not working but uh, we uh, made it work with the help of this status uh, test sprite actually tool so we just did the testing operation and we figured out the bugs and we fixed that okay so this is amazing and if you want to see the reports and everything you can open the folder and you can see guys entire test cases okay all the uh, test uh, uh, like execution file dot py file uh, you can see each and everything okay and even you can also see the uh, like documentation some of the documentation okay so everything is visible here even you can uh, see the entire explanation like what is the bugs okay everything you will be able to see here and now if i show you their uh, like uh, platform so you can see uh, if i refresh so you can see uh, out of six four a test case has passed so you can also open it up and you can see like where uh, exactly the issue and what is the issue each and everything is visible here uh, so let me open another one yeah so this is another one okay so that's how guys with the help of this te uh, test sprite uh, uh, tool you can uh, do the software testing okay any kinds of software you can uh, do the testing whether it's a web uh, application or whether it's ai application okay front end back end anything you can test guys so if you like this product guys i'll try to share this link in my description from there you can check it out so i think those who are using uh, ai for the software implementation i think this test sprite tool will help them a lot uh, because with the help of the, uh, that actually they can do real time okay real time actually testing operation okay and fixing the bugs so yes guys this is all about from this video i think you like this particular video if you liked it so please try to subscribe to the channel and hit the like so with that guys thank you so much and i will see you next time